Hi, I'm Joni Kisner. Welcome to my studio. So today what I'm going to show you is how to make a ring out of a pancake die. And I want to also tell you that I did make a ring like this before and what I did was I drew little half circles around and sawed it out with a saw. So I'm very excited we have a new pancake die for that. And then I'm going to show you a few other ring pancake dies. I'm going to be using a 20 gauge sterling silver and today I'm going to hammer texture it with the rain hammer. This is my scalloped ring pancake die. It's number 735. I've textured my sterling silver. I'm going to put it right here so you can see the pattern side in the window. I'm going to tape it on and then I'm going to go punch it out with my hydraulic press. I wanted to just show you a little helpful hint on making your ring shank size. So uh, this here says eight and a half. That's what I want the ring shank to be. So I moved my sterling silver over a little bit below this line because I want the grooves to match when I solder it closed in the circle. So I'm going to cut here and here. That'll make an eight and a half ring shank. I also wanted to show you this. This is the wide cigar band ring uh, from the pancake die. And if I want it, say, a seven, you don't want to just cut it here for a seven. Again, you want to move it down so you have an even amount cut off of both ends so one end isn't skinnier than the other. On this particular pancake die, it's not a good idea to cut it with your shears because of the curvature in there. So what I'm going to do is take the saw, Potter USA's wonderful saw, and I'm going to saw that curve. I already lubricated my saw blade. Okay, so now I just need to do a little bit of filing and I'm ready to go. So at this point, I've hammer textured my metal. I've used three different ring pancake dies. I've already cut the tabs off of these, but I just put a little line where I want to cut the tab off. So I either saw it or use my shears. And then you just bend it round with their pliers. These are the double cylinder pliers. I just start the bend and you know it doesn't have to be perfect before you solder it. It doesn't have to be a perfect circle. You just have to make sure that these ends are perfectly together with no gaps in between them. And then later you could make it round on the ring mandrel. Okay, so you see I've closed my gap there and it has a little thing coming out right here. I'm just going to put a line there and I'm just going to clip that right off and now I'm going to solder that closed. But see, it's definitely not round at this point, but like I said, that doesn't matter. You just want to make sure you have a nice closed seam right there to solder. I'm ready to solder my seam closed. So there's a few different ways I do it. I either take wire solder and feed it into the seam while it's fire hot, or I cut a few pieces off and pick it up with my titanium pick and just set them where I want them to be. So that's what I'm going to do this time. You always want to go in a circle, heat the whole piece up, so it's pretty hot. I'm going to pick that up right there and then just set it inside on my seam. Okay, I just saw it flow, so I'm ready to put it in the pickle. 
This is a different ring that I made. I used a different hammer on there. And once again, you can see the seam. So I'm going to use the same hammer I originally textured it with, hammer that seam, and then I'm going to make it round. So you see, this is what it looks like when I solder it. But after I solder it, I can go and put it on the ring mandrel and make it perfectly round. And I take it off turn it over, completely turn it over and bring it back this is where the seam is, I can still see that so I'm going to get the same hammer I used and just hit right on that okay, so see now you can't see the seam at all just because I went over with the same hammer so if you look around the whole piece you don't know where the seam is so that's what our goal is not to see the seam so these are some of the rings I made today this particular one here is R001 now you can also make this into a bail this ring here is the wide cigar band, it's 702. This one is a thinner cigar band, it's 702A. And this one is number 735, it's the scalloped ring. And you see I also took the scallop ring and made it into a spinner. So, thank you for watching my video.